Here we are, guys. Another day, another MKL. Welcome back, Paul. How are you doing? I am good. Thanks for having me again. <laughs> Welcome. Thanks to you for, for being here with us. So, um, Paul, what, what are we going to optimize today? I'm working on an outdoor basketball hoop. It's one of those ones you can have in your driveway and, and practice without going to a park or gym. Nice. Do you have one in your house in Australia? I, I had one growing up, actually. <laughs> that's cool yeah also remember i mean i always sucked at basketball so <laughs> yeah. just to remind you guys what we're doing here we're optimizing listings one by one for so many different categories and today we're optimizing this one um using data dive if you guys don't know what data dive is you're definitely missing out go and check it out the link is down in the description below it's an amazing tool for keyword research competitors analysis also gives you hints on ppc can create campaigns for you it's going to include ai in the listing builder and we are here showing you how to get the best out of this how to select your keywords how to optimize your listing how to get the the highest score and to have the highest opportunity and possibility to rank on amazon organically and so to improve your sales and to minimize your cost for the PPC and so on and so forth. If you've been following this channel, you know already that we talk a lot about ranking and selling more on Amazon. So without further ado, Paul, let's dive into this master keyword list and let's see how we have built the listing here. Right. So the first thing I did is find my products. So I went on Amazon.com and I looked for portable basketball hoops. What was really interesting is that I found this product in two different subcategories or browse notes. First is sports fan basketball equipment. They have a list in here as well as a bunch of other different sports related items. And then in a more direct subcategory, basketball portable hoops and goals. So that's where I found my products and that's how I built my MKL. So I try to get a, a range of competitors. I also looked on page one. Um, there was a lot of overlap with this product. So it was quite convenient. You don't always have that, of course. Then I went and I cleaned up the MKL. So I had a lot of keywords. So I actually changed the relevancy. The default is 30%. I made it 50%. And I kept the default only show search volume, which is 150. And then I went to exclude keywords. So I mainly looked for other brands. So Lifetime appeared a lot. I also wanted to keep it simple and got rid of measurements. And then I did some individual exclusions. And what I was left with was about 147 keywords, which is plenty. And um, that's how I built my listing. That's amazing. If you guys are getting lost, please don't get lost. If, if we are talking about stuff that you don't know, for example, Paul is already talking here about the search volume and the filters that he's using. Don't get scared. Just go and click the link, the video that you're seeing here. We teach you step-by-step -step how to use Data Dive. We explain the filters. What we're doing here, we're just showing you already a listing that we have done, and we're going to optimize this. So we're not going to go into the details of how to use Data Dive. If you're interested in, in learning with the tutorial, just click the link here, watch this video, and then you will understand better. Let's get back into this master keyword list. Right. So while we have almost 150 keywords, there is a lot of overlap. As you can see here, there's basketball goals, basketball hoop, basketball net, portable, adjustable, mobile. There's a lot of similar keywords. Um, so it's actually good for us when we're building our MKL because once we add in a keyword, we're hitting it several different times. We'll have an exact match. We'll have a broad match. We'll have a lot of different matches. And so that's going to be really good for our juice rank. So if we go over here, battle of the titles, you can see my juice rank and you can see it in comparison to the competitors. This, this is the listing, guys. This is the listing that we have already on our Seller Central, on, on our brand. And what we have done here with Data Dive, we have selected the competitors because we want to get more keywords. We want to re-optimize this listing. So we want to see how good we are right now with our, um, with our rank potential compared to the competitors. But we also want to see if we can improve it somehow. So let, let's take a look at this listing. So I've named it our brand, adjustable basketball hoop. Outdoor basketball hoop with backboard and stands. Portable basketball hoop goal for kids, adults. I guess some description of the product. 
So I've got shatterproof base, ease installation, and some more keywords over here. Yeah, that's a quite standard way of making up your title. You, I, I guess you're starting with the, with the, with the top relevant keywords, with, with the, those keywords with the highest juice and score. And then you're going on with some more keywords and the description of the product and the features, right? That's correct. That's pretty much how I typically would build a title, make sure I have like the best keywords and I'll have features that are really relevant to the customer, things that they're looking for. Yeah, I remember that last time when we were optimizing this pedal board, you're saying that you're actually, especially in the bullet points, where we will talk about this later, we'll get into this later in, in just five minutes. Um, it's very important to show, to try to convey the message, what the customers are looking for, what's in this listing for them, what's in this product, why they should buy this product. And we already start doing this by optimizing the title. So that, that's really good. Um, can we take a look at the battle of the titles just looking at where we stand right now, what keywords we have, and maybe where we stand, how we benchmark against the competitors, and then let's see if we can actually improve this title somehow. So this is what I've got. These are our main keywords. You know, basketball, out, hoop outdoor, I get a huge juice rank, you know, almost a million points. So I've done my best to put in as many good ones as I can. Yeah, so when, when, did you, when did you actually write this listing? I did this several months ago. Okay. And when I did it, I had the number one score. I was the best. Yeah. But I made a new MKL now. And one thing about it is that I'm no longer the best. Oh, yeah. I still have 8 million, but someone has 8 million and just a little bit more than me. Nice. So we need to optimize it so we're number one. So we stand out. Let's do it, man. Let's do it. So... These are the keywords we have. Um, we could maybe pull in this keyword here. It's pretty long though. Um, yeah. This one here got a huge score. So, what's oh yeah, yeah. With uh, with Data Dive, um, if this is the first time that you guys see a master keyword list from Data Dive, this is the uh, offline version. You can also use the online version in the software. Just 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 at the moment, we're going to use the offline version. We're probably going to switch to the online version for those tutorials soon. You can see here. So what data that gives you is a list of keywords, the master keyword list with for each keyword, a juice rank, a score that will affect more your, your rank on Amazon. That will give more points based on search volume and relevancy of combined together of that particular keyword. So what you want to do is you want to add to your listing especially in the title, those keywords with the highest juice rank score. Yeah, so I think this one, row 20, youth basketball hoop, is really good. Let's see if we can edit maybe in the title somehow. Yeah. And, and then, yeah. okay, what do we have? Oh, that, <laughs> yeah. This looks really good. Yeah, adjustable height. Oh, you could probably do like this. Portable youth adjustable hoop goal for kids. How about that? Let's see if the score changes for the better or for the worse. Yeah, it went up. It's good, but I'm not sure if it's better than our competitors. Oh, we're getting there. Oh, yeah, yeah, we're already better than them, but uh, we want to differentiate them by a lot. We want to reach for like at least 9 million here. What, what do you say? I think 9 million is a good goal. Maybe even 10 million. Yeah, we can probably do that. Yeah. <laughs> I think um, he might be the best one with adjustable heights. I have adjustable. I don't <clears> have the <throat> word heights. Mm -hmm. I think we can fit it in and we'll get yeah. some of those points. Oh, yeah, I think we can... Well. We can get these two broad matches just by adding the keyword high. Portable. Yep, that sounds good. Adjustable high basketball hoop, outdoor basketball hoop with. It went down. Oh. That's interesting. Yeah, because you break the adjustable basketball hoop that is 
it was an exact keyword. So we have to write again, adjustable height, uh, like we can remove easy installation, um, outdoor basketball court. Yeah, yeah, 9 million. We just hit 9 million. How many characters did we use already? Okay, just, just, yeah. Uh, what about the shatterproof base? Is that a super necessary feature? That is something that customers do value, uh, especially okay. kids on a slam dunk. Okay. Once they're tall enough. Do we have anything that we add to, in terms of keywords that we're probably missing to, yeah, movable it looks good. So we could probably hit a broad match of the 779 keyword score. So I would put it like movable uh, shutterproof base, shutterproof base. Yeah, like it's strong, but still you can move it around because it's portable. Okay, I think it's good. Uh, let's remove some characters here because we want to have our, yeah, we have 11 characters to remove. It might be already too much. So I would be happy with this 9.3 million for now. Because what we want to do is we want to give incremental changes to our listing little by little. And then even just one keyword or one exact match of a keyword. And then check after a few hours or after one day if we have some improvement in the rank. And then we want to, you know, you know, change it again. We want to get back if nothing happened or we want to actually keep pushing that keyword if the rank is better and then push more with PPC. So right now we have changed a good like 25%. 20% of the title. So I was I would say this is gonna be okay. Let's remove some characters to make it okay for Amazon. So one of the things that I do is that I'll look for when I've duplicated a word. Mm -hmm. So I've used adjustable twice, but if I remove it here, I'll totally break the keyword. Yeah, the exact But match. I noticed I have outdoor twice. So in that case, I could remove the second instance of outdoor just to yeah. get the word countdown. Yeah, that's, that's smart. We're probably going to lose a little bit of, um, of score, probably, but it's going to be less compared to, to what we have gained. We, we don't even lose that much. We didn't lose didn't anything. Lose nice. Another thing I do is that if I can abbreviate things, I do within reason. So something like with. Yeah, we're lucky here because our brand name is one, two, three, four, five, this eight, nine characters. But that I would say XYZ brand is nine characters. It's about the uh, average length of your brand. Just don't choose a brand that is too long if you're selling products in Amazon. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, that's perfect. So we increase our score of a good million. And I would say what we're going to do here is we're going to test if our ranking goes better, if our PPC gets better, if our performance gets better, if anything goes down, then we probably did something wrong. So, but this, now we have a higher score. We have possibility and opportunity to rank for different keywords that we didn't rank probably before, or that actually we weren't recognized because they, they were not in the title. Uh, unless we were already selling, unless let's say that we had this listing for a long time. And we were making sales with those keywords. But if we just listed this listing like three months ago, then it was probably not the case. Let's take a look at the Battle of the Bullets pool. So I'm um, almost on 6 million, which is pretty impressive compared to this 45 over here. However, my competitors are still doing really good. Someone else has 5 million. Someone has 7 million. So... To be the number one, we need to get close to like 1.5 million. So I've got five key selling points. The first one just introduces the product, just how you, where you can set it up, how easy it is to use. Second one is just how you can use it to develop yourself as a basketball player because you can practice anytime. Mm -hmm. I mentioned how it's good for young and old. It's not just for kids. Everyone in the family can play. We talk about how it's good for fitness. And finally, how it's movable, so you can take it anywhere. So yeah. It is a bit heavy to do so, but <laughs> the point is it is a portable product. It's not fixed. And that's a bit of a game changer for some people. Yeah, and I guess in this for fun for young and old, you have added the keyword adjustable height. Yes. 
first bullet point, I added the most important keyword, basketball hoop outdoor. Mm. So I managed to fit it in here. Um, for others, I mentioned you know portable basketball hoops for outside. That's quite a, a long keyword, but it has like a huge search volume, massive juice. It's something like I had to have. Fun for young and old, as you said, have adjustable height. I've got youth basketball hoop. Here I've got kids adjustable basketball hoop. So I've got variations of similar keywords. Mm -hmm. um, and then I'll get them as like a broad match or an exact match. Yeah. And then we have at the end like, okay, yeah, let's see. Let's see if we're missing any of those new keywords that you are finding with this new MKL. And let's see if we can add them into the bullets. Even though I have adjustable heights, I don't have the full long tail keyword. Yep. And I think it's because I would have portable basketball hoop and adjustable heights as two separate keywords and two separate bullet points. And so when you put them together in one bullet point, it's recognized as a, a broad match. Yeah. That's actually how it works, by the way. Right? Yeah. Yeah. We figured it out. <laughs> so I can, I will highlight this one. This one looks pretty good. Basketball standard hoop outdoor. This one looks really good. Even though it's, well, it's not really grammatically correct, but it is yeah. really good. Yeah, yeah. I think that's how people search for it. Yeah, not grammatically correct. It should be portable uh, basketball hoop outdoor or portable outdoor basketball hoop, right? Right, yeah. That's how it should be. Um, most people just add it outdoor and at the end when they get results for indoor basketball hoops and they want something that's outside. I guess it's going to be easy to get all of those two portable hoop, outdoor portable, and you no know, basketball hoop, outdoor portable, and portable basketball hoop, outdoor. They're just the same keyword, but with switched orders of the words. Right. So by that logic, I could just like copy this one, put it into a bullet point. And I'll be keeping yeah. this one exact and I'll be getting these two as broad match. Yep. Yeah, you're right. Yep. All right. So let's do that. It was different. Yeah. Nice. Wow. <laughs> so look at the score that we have gained like a good 2 million plus just by adding portable. That uh, I, I love this tool, you know, it just it just shows you how easy it is to, to improve your, your rank potential just by adding one keyword that you didn't know that you were missing. Like really, I was, was yesterday I was looking at one of my, one of our clients titles and they were performing really, really well on PPC for a keyword that they didn't even have on their title. And I'm like, man, you're missing out so much. This is your top performing keyword on your PPC and you're not even adding it to the title. So yeah, let, let, let's go ahead. So if you go back now, we have exact, mm -hmm. we have the broad match. We still didn't get this one, but I think it's because we didn't and use group. Yeah, the hand, the end is missing. Oh, and. And yeah, it is recognized as a word by Amazon. I mean, probably not, Amazon is not that strict, but Datadive is reminding you that you have to use also and. And I also see down the movable keyword, so we can probably, use this and then down 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 i think it's like yeah movable this would be interesting to add movable and and the conjunction we can use it well and we should use it in the same bullet point as we have used this uh, basketball hoop outdoor portable this movable and portable basket hoop so you, you get the end and what is is good for beginners and season pros so you remove the weather and you just yeah, doing this. Okay. So instead of saying whether you're a beginner or a seasoned pro, we can say it's good for beginners and for seasoned pros. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Now, now we got a much better score. Yeah. 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 It's good. Nice. We got like 3 million plus. Okay. Last keyword into the bullets and then let, let's move on. 
unless guys so we are adding here keywords that we find from the master keyword list but you also have to approach this job mindful of what is your actual status what you should ask yourself what keywords do i want to absolutely rank for that i'm not ranking right now or that i don't even have in my bullets and what keywords are relevant for my product but are costing me a lot of money on ppc probably you don't have them as an exact match in your title or in your bullets. So you want to adjust that and data dive is giving you the tools to actually do that easily. Or is there any other keywords that my competitors are using that I'm not using that I'm not even mentioning in my bullets. So probably we can, we can take a look at that. Like what's the most used keywords here between our, among our competitors that we're not using and so on and so forth. It looks like everyone is using number 14, basketball hoops. Maybe we can zoom out and uh, take a better look at the... Good. Yeah, number 14, basketball hoops. Everyone is using that. Okay. Yes, and we're using, we're using it. it. But in this one, it's a good example. About half the competitors are using basketball. Oh, yeah. Perfect. We're not using it. More than half, really. So... It's Let's do Even it. though it offers a low uh, ranking juice, it might be something that we could add. Yeah, sure. Let's go back into the master keyword list. Maybe we can see more information about this keyword there, like the search volume. Basketball goal. Yeah, it's actually on top of the of the list, so we should probably use it. Yes, because it's got a, a high relevancy. Yeah, let, we definitely need to use it. It doesn't really have... Oh, yeah. It's, it's the third highest search volume keyword here with the 55% relevancy. We definitely want to have this. Yes. Good catch. So it might be worth like explaining, like even though it has a low rank, just because everybody's using it, it's still in Yeah, it, it, it has a low rank score. Yeah. Right. It's um, so... It's, it's not exactly that because everyone is using it, but because the search volume is so high, then that's why everyone is using it. So this is, this is actually what we just did here. It's a good example of catching up with your competitors. Like maybe you don't know that you're missing a keyword, but with data dive, you can see that. Like what are the top sellers using? They're all using this keyword. We were not using, we haven't been using it for a while. So, I mean, as an exact match, so probably it's time to use it here. And in this occasion, we might also want to check the, the title, for example. But I think we were using in the title, right? Let's find out. I have a broad match in the title. Uh, yeah, I think that's okay. Let, let's just put it exact in the bullet. I'll have space here. So this might be the best spots. So maybe I could say, I can't back in lightweight basketball hoops. Are you taking to non-stop basketball fun? Maybe I could say it's your ticket to achieving your basketball goals. <laughs> so, yeah, it's a nice like um, like little trick. Like, yeah, because the goal is actually the hoop, right? Right. But yeah, it's kind but, of like the double meaning of the word. Yeah, the double meaning. I like that. I, I love that, man. Like, let's do it. <laughs> All right. Because the keyword itself is exactly basketball goals with the S. It's a plural, right? Uh, it's actually singular. Oh, okay. All right. We can... mm, all right. I, I would say, yeah, it, it it's also it's already good like this. The bullets, I, I think I think we, we we have done already enough. We have improved how many millions? Like three millions plus more than yeah, three million million. score. So yeah, you, you know, I don't want to disrupt entirely your, your your content you want to see if it works or not you, you have different ways of optimizing your listing this is not the absolute best way of optimizing the listing or the only way probably might be the best way for what we're looking for right now paul that 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 was really really good can we take a quick look at the uh description that you have made um we're not going to spend too much time into that i believe it's good that's got wow nine nine million in rank it's in, in in score is really good. We can take a quick look at the description and the search terms, and then we can wrap it up. For the um the description, I actually optimized it just to because I figured we'd focus on the bullet points and title. Um, 
I mean, we can go over it. I don't really know. Yeah, I mean, just, just a quick look at the keywords that we've used. All right. So with description, it's your chance to really put in like a lot of keywords that you use but haven't used. And when you have 147 keywords to play with, you can really put like a lot of keywords into it. So um, while it's formatted a bit weird, I also here don't have basketball goal. So that could be like another thing we put in. You can add it to the description. So I'll just zoom out. Yeah, it looks like you have added all the most important keywords already. That looks good. Um, yeah, in, in this case, unless we are, you know, unless you are performing like super, super well on PPC with one of the keywords here with the low score that you want to keep it specifically for that keyword, I would say it's okay. Just don't, you don't need to add all of them because it would be impossible. So, and it, it really depends on your product. If you're like differentiating your product in a particular way that you really need to have that little keyword, then it makes sense. Um, can we take a look at the search terms? Yeah, you also hit a good score here. For the search terms, guys, this is this is you're not gonna compare it with your with your competitors. It's technically not possible, even though there is a way of, of uh, checking your competitors' search terms. But we're not gonna tell you here. <laughs> Probably we're gonna leave a comment now, or uh, maybe you can you can ask us. Feel free to ask us how to do that, and uh, you can actually see what's your score here and see all the keywords that you've been using as for the title and the bullets and the description. And if you if we have been missing some keywords here, for example, movable, because we really wanted to focus on this movable, uh, this was the keyword that we have added, and outdoor. Maybe it's time to add them also into the, the search terms. Can we? So we have outdoor, but I don't see movable, right? I, so one of the things when you have a lot of keywords to play with is that you cannot use them all. Yeah. So that's also one of those things where you have to, like, Review, okay, um, is it all relevant? Is the word mobile relevant? Is rolling relevant? Well, yeah. it's a portable product. The wheels do move, they, they roll, but maybe something like movable is, is yeah. better. Yeah, in this case, it would be better because we didn't see mobile appearing, so movable. We can just optimize those search terms just by replacing mobile with movable. Or uh, we also have, yeah, I think like small gel, short, rolling driveway, it, it's, they're not really super useful keywords. Maybe how would you optimize them? What would keywords would you add here? Well, one of the things that Datadive showed me is that people make a lot of spelling mistakes. It's, it's normal. Mm -hmm. So sometimes just using those mistakes mm -hmm. is a way to just to, to, get, to get traction on your listing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the misspellings. This is also a common strategy used on PPC. You target exact the misspellings. It's so good, guys, really. I mean, at least it used to give a lot of, you know, good returns. Not a lot of sales, but very low echoes because you're targeting exactly a misspelling. So it's something that people would find immediately when they write something wrong on Amazon. And it happens a lot of times. So it does make sense to put a misspelled word in your search terms because it's in the back end. So I guess we're good. Paul, that was really, really interesting. Guys, in case you didn't do it, subscribe to this channel because we have a lot of visitors that's never subscribed. You know, we're giving a lot of information here. We're, we're sharing for free a lot of information. And um, I believe this is really good for you to understand how to use Data Dive, or even to how to optimize your listing without using a tool because we are really getting deep into the optimization. And um, so remember to subscribe to this channel, give us a like, leave a comment if you want, and you can check down our website with the services that we have, how we can improve your business on Amazon, how we can help you. Paul, thank you so much. Much appreciated. Thank you. It was really good. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.